clunk, click. What does it mean? Yeah. Clunk the car door, click the seatbelt, do it every time you get in your car. It can save you a lot of pain and misery. But you don't have to take my word for it. Take the word of someone who found out the hard way. Well, Maximilian, old fruit, you will not be in any discotheques for a little while, will you? No. What is it that brings you into a chair this way? Well, my girlfriend was giving me a lift home one night. We'd only gone about 200 yards down the road when we had this accident, and I broke my neck. You broke your neck? Yes. And not wearing a seatbelt at the time? No. Now, you broke your neck. What does that add up to physically? It means I've lost the use of my hands, and my legs are paralysed. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's clunk, click every trip. Clunk the car door, click the seatbelt, and if only everybody would do that every trip, even though it's only a couple of hundred yards, then it would save 15,000 of you being killed or seriously injured every year. So it's clunk, click, every trip. Clunk, click, every trip. Seatbelts restrict you if you're looking around. Well, my boyfriend drives a flash car and thinks it looks funny to wear a seatbelt. Well, if you're going out, it creases your shirt up. Yeah, well, you're safer in the back, aren't you? I suppose it's just because they're uncomfortable, really. Think. Always wear a seatbelt. To a child as young as this, a garden is a wonderland of new things to see, of places to explore. And new games to play. But every year, young children drown in garden ponds. If you have a garden pond, make sure your child is never left in the garden alone. If you can, cover the pond with a strong mesh, or even drain it and make a sand pit until your child grows up. But don't expect children as young as this to keep away from water just because you tell them. It's up to you to prevent an accident. How can she forget about it? She can't even sleep. She heard a kid at school say you were a murderer. I don't know what to tell her. How am I supposed to explain that you killed a little boy? I won't ever understand why you had to drive. Not everything's screwed up. Isn't it? Well, isn't it? Look at me! chance.